only took us probably about 10 minutes, but you know, the kids have to act like they're dying. I was getting the frogs out of the bottom of the pool. So just curious what you guys would have done. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So it's Sunday, so it's kind of like chore day, getting a lot of stuff done around the house. I've done laundry, vacuuming, dusted my bedroom, putting dishes away right now. Carly's cleaning these kitchen lights here because for some reason she just does a much better job at it than I do, I don't know why. And um, we have to go out front and pull weeds again, which is really annoying because I feel like this is probably the fourth time this summer that we've pulled weeds. We really should spray for weeds would be the right thing to do but there's literally so many areas where we get weeds we'd have to buy like a gallon's worth of spray so instead we just pull weeds once a month all right guys here's our grown out weeds again in our front yard here's the worst part of it look at this stuff i don't even know what this is but it's so tall and there's my office so it's like I look out and sometimes those blow in the wind and I literally think they're people moving in front of the window. It looks like it's a lot, but it's actually will come up in really big bunches. I already got this area this far done. We're all done. It's gonna look really nice once we finish getting some landscaping, some bushes here, and we're gonna get some like big rocks. And then that open area right there, we're gonna get some rocks. Like the really big lawn ornamental type that I don't even know how we're gonna get them here. We're gonna have to have a truck deliver them or something. It only took us probably about 10 minutes, but you know, the kids have to act like they're dying. Actually, wait, it took 16 minutes total the whole entire thing which they've already been gone for a couple minutes because that's the time on my camera and I was just filming the whole thing um so yeah but they're dying all right I figured since Blake's already got the uh power washer out I'm gonna clean this side of the garage all that stuff is boxes we need to drop off at Goodwill so I'm gonna have Chase move those for me and just at least spray out this half and then Blake is gonna wash my car which I'll explain more about that in a little bit and uh, right now he's uh, washing Corey's car. Now all that, those two rows right there need to go over here where I already moved one of the boxes. All right, I'm gonna see what's going on outside. I just got a text from Asha that Chase wants me outside, so I don't know if it's just to go swimming with them or what, but uh, I was getting my editing done for tomorrow's video because I really don't want to do it tonight. It's Sunday night and I really want to watch this series on HBO called Love Life with Anna Kendrick. Um, I just paid for like another membership or whatever HBO. I swear I cancel it and restart it so many times throughout the year because it's $15 a month, which is kind of expensive if you're not using it. Like I feel like if you use it, it's worth it. Think about what you pay just to like rent a movie on your um, cable box or through like Amazon or something. So if they had good shows on there, I feel like it's worth it. So I really wanna watch that. So I wanted to get my editing done so I could have somewhat of a relaxing evening tonight. So I'll go outside and see what Chase is up to. What are you doing? Same thing, different day. <laughs> What do you want me out here for? I just wanted you to come out. I was getting the frogs out of the bottom of the pool. There's more frogs? There's a bunch of frogs all over. They oh. keep coming in. And I had the skimmer and Tucker was swimming after me because I was underwater. And he took the skimmer out of my hands. And the pool's so dirty I can't find the skimmer. What? Yeah, it's just gone. What the heck? Well, it's, it's obviously underwater. Yeah, I know. I searched the whole thing. Even with your bino binoculars, <laughs> goggles, you can't find it. Oh, the pool's so dirty, I can't. See it's it. not that it's dirty. It's cloudy because it's low on salt. There's your dad. So much big clumps of dog fur at the bottom of the pool. Oh really? Well, you should clean those too then. Oh, I don't know where the skimmer is. 
Um, your dad just had to add salt today. He did that last time. We got it really clear. And then, I don't know. I think it's because it's been so hot lately. Yeah. It just, the sun's just burning through it. Well, I can't find the skimmer. Yeah, I, you can't really see, can Ooh, you? I was like over here. How did you find frogs then? I swam all the way to the bottom. Well, how could you see frogs, but you can't see a <laughs> skimmer? Know. That's why I'm so confused. Oh, Chase! 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 <laughs> it's not even... It's not underwater. It's not underwater. It's it's right there. What? It's right there. It's not even underwater. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, look at the kitties. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I am headed right now to Target to pick up my weights. Um, if you guys watched yesterday's video, I shared the workout that we're doing. Um, it's like just a 30 minute free weight, kind of get our muscles stronger, burn some calories, hopefully lose some weight workout that we're doing in the mornings actually. Uh, tomorrow morning our trainer's gonna be there at 6 30 so that's gonna be fun but anyways I was doing it with these five pound weights and it was the same weight that Ken and our trainer are using and I can't do like the exercises we do we do 10 sets of 10 of these three exercises and then we move on to the next three exercises and do 10 sets of 10. So by the time we're done we've done 900 whatever. I call them exercises. I don't know what you want to call it. Anyways. Um, I can't do all 10 sets with the 5 pound weights. I always end up doing like couple sets and then I would have to put the weights down because it was just killing me and I don't know we're just gonna go ahead and try three pound weights tomorrow with the trainer and see if it's easier and it was funny because the second day so we did the workout with the trainer and then the next day we did the workout by ourselves and then the next morning when I woke up I was walking to the bathroom and I could barely sit down like I was like, oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to sit down and go pee. It just my legs hurt so bad. Ken's legs are fine, but his shoulders and arms are super sore. So it's weird that we're doing the exact same exercises, but we have different body parts that are sore. So, anyways, going to pick up those weights. I just did a pre-order, or like not pre-order. What did I do? An order online. Go to customer service and pick it up. It's at the desk. So I don't have to like walk through the store and end up buying a bunch of other things that I don't need. So they had the weights going there to pick them up. Oh, so yesterday we went out to Ken's brothers and we actually stopped into Meyer because there's like a Meyer store out by his house. And Carly and I ran in. They only had one set of weights and they were eight pound weights. And so we, we couldn't get them there. But as we were walking out of the store empty handed, there's this guy in the uh had his cart full. It looked like maybe like an air fryer, some Rubbermaid containers, maybe a crock pot, some more expensive stuff, maybe like a blender or something like that because it had like the black wire with the um, black like sensor thing. So when he walked out the store, all the alarms went off. His cart was full underneath the cart, packed to the top, mask on his face and walked right out of the store with a cart full of stolen merchandise. And we were probably, oh, maybe 10 to 15 feet behind him. Watched him go right to um, his vehicle and there were people waiting in the car to pick him up in the passengers, in like the driver's seat and the passenger seat. He loaded up the back of the car and left and at first I told Carly I like she like it was the opposite direction of where Ken had parked the car and I said should we walk over there should I like take pictures should I and she's like no don't get involved and the only reason I'm sharing this story is like I don't know how you guys feel right now with the state our country's in but it surely is in a different place than what it was 
five, ten years ago because I feel like ten years ago if that would have happened, I would have most definitely gone out, walked over, took a picture, maybe even said, no, I don't think I would have said anything because it's a guy, I'm a girl, like why would I put myself in that situation? Just like, no. Nowadays, when I see something like that happen, I'm like, if I speak up and be like, hey, you know, like first of all, it's not even my my job because I don't work security for the store. Um, I don't know, my mind's going a million miles an hour now. I can't even think, talk straight. Um, but anyways, my major fear is in a situation like that is if you would speak up, like the person could have a gun. And like, I have such a strong fear of people with guns. And I don't know, like, how do you guys feel? Am I just like paranoid? Or like, what have you said something? What have you done something? And I would have like grabbed a worker. The first thing I did was like, go like this, like look around to see if there were any workers in sight whatsoever. Nobody. That store, there was hardly anybody in the store. There were maybe 20, 30 cars in the parking lot. And no workers to be seen so you know what if you're not gonna man your store with some like type of security have employees watch who's walking in and out of your store I guess it is what it is but um yeah it's just sad like and when I see people like that too I'm like okay is he stealing it because he needs it which you know we're in tough times a lot of people are struggling financially like does he need these things is he buying them to sell them like I don't know a lot of thoughts going through my head so just curious what you guys would have done in that situation and I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna get some sort of crap from people that like I didn't do the right thing I should have got his license plate and went back in the store and this and that but I don't know um, I don't even know if I would have been able to see his license plate if I would have been able to walk over quick enough kind of conspicuously and got his license plate before he drove off because he had that car loaded and taking off pretty darn quick so anyways I'm gonna run to Target right here and get my um, weights and then I'm bringing pizza home for dinner so didn't feel like cooking today so what I was gonna tell you guys earlier is Blake started a car detailing here at home. He's on his third car for the day. It's actually one of his friends that he's detailing right now. He did Corey's earlier and then he did another car and um, he's got himself a little side business going on. Detailing cars, making some extra money. What happened? He went to do this. Yeah. Uh, so why are you throwing it all in the same spot? Oh my gosh, they're so big. Oh, catfish. Oh, there's one koi. Right there. It's just, they kind of look like... Catfish are the ones who splash around. I've only seen one, though. And I don't think any other fish are eating other than catfish. I saw like four coin on No way. Yeah, so I did. Oh. The second you take There's it one. Off. Oh, there's two. There's Oreo. Did you see him? Yeah, he's right there. Right there. Oh, my baby. There's another one over there. Yeah, that's the I only think... two I've seen though. There was another one that was just over there. The but thing one. is, I might I can need hear it. Wow, that one's big. If you ever caught a koi, I would be so sad. Why? Because what if you hurt it? Well, it hurts them all, man. <laughs> I don't know if they have feelings. You think they feel pain? Well, just because they bleed doesn't mean they have pain. 